There was a lot of locker rooms and teams that I was a part of in which I heard homophobic and transphobic language and I never did anything to speak out against it. That time has changed. You are voting for the first time in the history of our state to codify discrimination into our constitution. There were people who wanted my family not to exist. I at the podium. I can't get married in the state of Ohio. That just really pushed me over the edge. You have to embrace me as a lesbian identified woman of color that comes from a certain class. I've been in classes and had my professor tell me that we needed to be good wives to our husband. That's just something that is outrageous. My teammates got to not only play alongside me, see my dedication, but they also got to hear from me social consciousness. Yes, there's change. It's oftentimes at the hands of these young people, very boldly and very out, doing what they have to do. And Daniel, I'm sorry, you may deny it, but we've decided you are a hero. People now coming up and saying, I really respect you, and you're making me change some of the, the perceptions that I had. We're at a significant tipping point. The way in which people think about LGBT issues in many ways are beginning to really champion our equality like never before. I don't care. Two men are madly deeply in love with each other, and they're happy and enjoying life, because that's what life's about. No one deserves to be treated as a second-class citizen. This isn't an issue just about gay rights. This is fundamentally an issue about respect and dignity and equality. That's the civil rights movement of my generation.